G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. I thought I'd do a, a, a video on all the new um, fruit trees that I've put into the fruit, food forest. Um, there's been a few, um, so we'll get into it. And yes, Doug, I'm getting there. Got one more to go, and then I'll do a video on the dragon fruit. They're all different varieties, and I've seen some more varieties. Right, so today, as you can see, it's raining, but it's ideal temperatures for the subtropical and tropical trees I have in my food forest. It's muggy, humid, warm, and this rain, this rain is, uh, is beautiful. It's actually slowly getting heavier and heavier as I speak. But we're going to go start up with the newest tree I've just planted, which I just received from Ross Creek Tropicals yesterday. I've just put it in the ground. And uh, we'll go have a look. I'm just watering it in as we speak. Here it is. This is the uh, newest. I'll just turn the sprinkler off. There we go. This is a Mamey Sapote. Now it's supposed to be a Key West, which is what I've been waiting for for quite some time. But the tag just says Mamey Sapote. So I'm a bit suspect. But we'll see how we go. I do have another one which is just a Mamey Sapote. That's why I'm a bit suspect. I'm hoping it's the Key West because I've really, really been waiting for this one for a while. All right, so there's one new tree. If we move along to here. Oh, I'll quickly, I'll quickly tell you what the plan is now because <clears throat> struggling to keep up with my veggies, to be honest, as you can see. I've already taken one bed out. Now the idea is to plant a row of four fruit trees down here. The asparagus will stay. So I'll probably go another two or three across here. Then all these golden cane are going to be gone. And it's either going to be another row to follow on from the jackfruit here. You can see these three trees here. They're in kind of a sort of a row. All the way down there to the septic tank. Or... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll build a really high trellis, like a walk through trellis to grow some grapes. Because I did have the grapes over over on the side of the property over there, but there's a shed there now, so nothing is going to grow behind there anymore. Anyway, that's the plan for here. But we'll come over to this the second fruit tree. As you can see, I've been harvesting sweet potato <clears throat> so here's another one here it's new and this is a cacao this is going to be a bit of a challenge when we get into midwinter because we get down to five six degrees at night not for long though <clears throat> so I'm, I'm so I'm slightly confident about this one making it. Number two. We come along. So here, this is going crazy here. Um, this hasn't been in the ground for very long and it's probably grown 30... 30% bigger. This is a sapodilla or sapodilla. <clears throat> um, I can't quite see that. Sa it's a manila, manila sapodilla. So I'm really happy with that one. It's loving it in this position. I am having to sort of push these away from it and keep it clear. So I cut, I cut it back quite often. 
and um, just to just to give that a bit more space. I, I, this is a not a new one, but this is the highlight of the food forest. This staff route. This is just amazing. Grows quick. Fruits quick. You'll get fruit off these within the first year, even less. And flowers non-stop through the year. And this is obviously the most flowers. And it looks amazing. You've got this beautiful green foliage that weeps and goes up. But then you've got the pink and white flowers in amongst it. And it's amazing. Have a look. This is the Arkin variety. Look at it, just full inside. And we do have fruit. We've got, I'll show you. We've got a nice big one here, as you can see. And if we come out, we'll see some little fruitlets just here. We come around the back here, we've got a smaller star fruit just going here, look. And the good thing about the star fruit is it will flower all year round. And the fruit doesn't all produce at once, so you can harvest. You might have a space, it's been probably about two months now since we've had a star fruit. There you go, there's another one there. But this is this is gonna this is gonna be chockers of star fruit, I think, when all these flowers develop into fruit. It's slowly working down its branch, comes down here, you've got some that aren't open. These ones here that are just starting to poke out now, and then they just further you go up the branch the thicker the flowers get anyway just thought I'd mention that one because I love it all right here we go this this particular plant is going to be a challenge here um, I know it's going to survive the cold temperatures that we get here but if we get a temperature that's a bit colder than usual this could this could really struggle and this is the rambutan there we go and another problem i have is ants as you can see the ants make their nests in here so i'm gonna have to try and control that so I mean, they're all going down now but they'll come back up they'll be all in here stir them up a bit the mulch is working well though so this is a rambutan. I have four of these. One, two, three, and I have another one over there which I sort of was experimental into a different sort of shady area to see how we go. But you can see it's had a heap of new growth. The ants are even up here, look. Heap of new growth. Heap of new growth, some more new new growth coming through here. But of course this this has got some beautiful new growth on it. Look at this. Wow. And I'll now go over to the one over here which you can see I've put it into a very shady area. It does get afternoon sun, but in the winter it's only going to get a little bit of dappled light. But again it's it's still growing fairly well. That's its new growth here. And it's probably gonna shoot out some, there it is now, a little bit just down there. So that's another variety new to the food forest. Not only that, we have the white sapote. This is the Max Golden, I think, better check. I think that's what that says, Max Golden. That's doubled in height since I've put that in the ground. That was only up to here. And that's, that's doubled in height cross fingers fruit neck season on that because the white sapote is delicious we'll come over to here <clears throat> excuse me so that first sapper deer we were looking at over here that's a grafted variety this one here's a seedling um, it's not growing anywhere near as quick um, again it gets a lot more shade in here I've got a banana growing next to it that will have to be controlled, that banana. Try and keep it from getting too close to the sapodil. The sapodil. Got some nice clouds coming over now, look. Star apple. 
coffee they're all I have put some mints some different varieties of mints chocolate mint there's one that's actually quite spicy which I think this one it's um smells amazing it kind of smells like a lemongrass but you eat it and it starts to burn and then I've got this one here can't remember what that one is I think it's more of like a water type plant but if you keep the water up to it you can grow it in the ground as well it's actually grown quite well um, so I've shown you that one here's another new one done that and then we come across here and here we have another mamey sapote there we go this is just a mamey sapote seedling not a key west or any of those other varieties so it'd be interesting but this one this one's grown a lot and have a look at the beautiful new growth it's only just popped out in the last couple of days this humid wet weather we've been getting has been amazing hey sunny go get your ball go get your ball go get the ball good boy so that's loving it there um i planted it here deliberately for some protection um when i planted this we were getting some really hot days and i didn't want it as a new plant uh to burn so this has kind of protected it and of course the canopy above of course that'll get older and when it gets older it will be able to fend for itself over the top of this I'm super happy with that another new variety star fruit this is the something Thai I think anyway it is the sweetest variety of star fruit that we get here in Australia um, so I'm presuming they're sweeter ones we just can't, we, it's just those varieties aren't available in Australia yet but this in ground two months, this is a grafted variety by the way, two months in the ground and she flowers but not only that she produced one fruit well she did produce one fruit for me it obviously wasn't going to uh, eventuate but never mind kind of disappointing but never mind at least it flowered so it's another variety again an amazing looking tree I mean have a look at the new growth look at the color unbelievable oh <laughs> and I've been um and an ring whether I want to get one of these this is the giant bamboo um, this here is its new growth all the way around down to here and that second one going up through the trees here. In fact, that's all the way up there. Now, this is the, let me think, it's the black bamboo, Aspire, Dendromacallus Aspire, black bamboo. I think it's also called the Hitman. Biggest bamboo in the world, fastest growing bamboo in the world. And this will grow and tower over this jacaranda. This in its in natural environment can grow 30 meters <clears throat> with uh, bamboo being 30 centimeters. So that's a big, big bamboo. And it will mulch all this area for me. But again, I will control that so it goes that way, not towards my star fruit. It's not going to shade it um, because the sun's going to be over this direction here for the star fruit. But I'm looking forward to that. That's an edible bamboo too. So you get the new shoots that come up, harvest them, peel them back to the nice white, and, you, and then you treat them like a potato or a taro or uh, like a root vegetable. What else do we have? Let's go over. to this one here it's another sapote this is the green sapote this one here 
starting to push out some new growth. This is um, this is supposed to be hardier than the Mamey Sapote, um, and a little bit sweeter. So, so I'm a bit excited about this one. I'm hoping this will enjoy this area here again. Very shaded, as you can see. Nothing in the morning. Get a little bit of dappled in the afternoon, or sort of morning late morning late morning sorry and then in the summer it'll get a lot more light but we're heading into the days are getting shorter now so the sun is sort of heading over this way rather than over here for the green sapote what else have we got oh nothing new in here these are all still my mangoes um sour sop Pinto peanut, I'm trying to get a ground cover in all this area here. I've actually planted um, some peanuts over in this garden bed as well. But there's another plant down here, which I didn't plant. This is a volunteer, passion fruit. Um, there it is, growing up this gum tree. And it's, where is it? Oh yeah, it's way up there now. I'll just let that do its thing, we'll see what comes out of it. Um, I think the rats and possums and that, they grab the passion fruits and come down here to eat them, I think. Alright, let's move along because the next ones are a bargain. We have the longan. because I've got a lychee but I mean 10 bucks they retail for 49 50 odd dollars they were on special at Bunnings I could not believe it there were two varieties unfortunately I missed out on those ones and then just behind that one we have a passion fruit it's going to grow up here it's going to grow over this little makeshift arch I've made which is just made out of mesh it's gonna grow up the tree I want it to go over the branches just naturally do its thing here this variety is the sweet granadilla this is the well it's regarded as the sweetest and tastiest passion fruit out of all the varieties so super excited about that and it is going crazy when you think about it that little bamboo stick in there it's about, it was about that high a month ago where is it now? Almost up to the top of that green, working its way around its tree. And we've got another, which is good, this, this branch here. I've got to watch all these dragon fruit on the ground here. Spiky. And this one has already found this trellis here. That'll grow over there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Super, super excited about that one. There is another variety I want to get, but we'll see. So I think I have covered all the new fruit trees I've purchased in the last few months. Dragon fruit. Unfortunately, this is this is a dark. I think it's a dark star. Let's have a look. Yeah, this variety is the dark star. And it needs it needs to be cross pollinated with another variety. Unfortunately. No other variety opened up when they did. So I've got several flowers, which have obviously now gone. These will all fall off. This one here is just the commercial red. And as you can see, that was a lot that flowered a long time before these ones. That's almost ready to harvest. And then we've got another one here, and I'm going to guess that's probably the end of the season. There's about five different varieties on here, but that's another another video. I think, I think, I think that's it. I can't think of any more. I've, I've just planted so many more, it's just crazy. Oh, the other white sapote, I went straight past this one. This is a commercial variety. Um, 
yeah, the, the commercial white sapote commercial variety. This one, um, both grafted, and as you can see, I've I've also put some peanut in a lot of these garden beds. Being a nitrogen fixer, some of them might die. I've just ripped them out the ground and chucked them. These are annual ones, though. These these actually produce peanuts, but they're all nitrogen fixing. Let's see. Two more in there, one there, one there. Well, there you go. All my new fruit trees. I don't think I've missed any. Bananas are going pretty good. Let me pick this up. There's a dog. It's got his ball. And this is all back. Let's have a look. There he goes. Landed down the back. Oh, he's got it. Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Give me a thumbs up. Take care everyone, bye.